Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and Alberto C challenged me. He said, it seems that you always draw with expensive and sophisticated materials. I challenge you to make a realistic drawing of a forest in light and shadow using only a common and cheap ballpoint pen. So, here is my weapon, a cheap and common and rather old ballpoint pen. Challenge accepted. Let's begin by sketching the outline of some of the trees. One side and then the other one. And then the base. They do not need to be perfect straight lines because the trees are not perfectly straight. And we outline some more trees. The ones that are far away in the back, of course, are smaller. I am pressing lightly with the pen because I want these lines to be pretty thin. I make a horizontal dotted guideline for the end of the ground. And now we begin shading. But before that, I will actually set aside some areas, also with dots, so that I don't shade them, because they will be in sunlight. And to darken further, we can do lines in different directions. Cross hatching. Very good. It is actually very nice to draw with this type of pen. I like it. Let's shade the other trees, also pretty dark. All right, like so. The reason I use dotted lines as guidelines is because once I have shaded the areas, they practically don't show. They tend to disappear visually. I was afraid that in this challenge, using only one common pen, I wouldn't be able to achieve the light and shadow, the contrast I like. But these rollers are actually pretty friendly and sensitive. If you press lightly, they draw lighter than if you push them harder, which produce a darker black. And as you see, we paint some branches, only on a few trees. And since we cannot erase this kind of pen, it was very important from the beginning to live with the white of the paper, the areas which we wanted to be the brightest. Let's now draw the foliage of the background. We do this with wiggly, uneven shapes. Sometimes darker and sometimes lighter. Something like this. I will probably darken most of what you are seeing, but it is best to stay a little bit lighter and then darken, because as I was saying, you cannot go backwards. And now the shadows on the ground. It does take a lot of work. And I want this to look uneven, so that is why I'm working like this, in different directions and with different shapes. And here I will also set aside some areas, with ovals mainly, to give the effect of the light coming through the tree foliage and hitting the ground. I actually thought that I would tackle this challenge very rapidly, that this drawing would take me about one hour. However, it did take me a lot of work. I have been at this incredibly about six or seven hours, and I'm not complaining because I enjoyed every minute. In fact, I don't even know where the time go. I was so into it. But you are the ones that will decide if the challenge was accomplished. It's done. And as last week, I will be here answering your comments and questions for one hour after the release of the video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.